what's going on guys you catch me on a wednesday evening and we are going to be well me and ben when he turns up i'm going to be fitting my brand new made uh, kw uh, coilover struts with all of my um kit back on and ready to go on so what we're going to start off with today is we're going to use the better of the old struts this one here and we're going to make sure the shocks are set at the right height so I don't have to do loads of adjustments when I go to install the new shocks on the car. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my lower spring helper. I'm going to get that lined up with the other one on the other strap. So let's get it out and get it on. So if you are installing these yourself, there we are, all set. The spanners you want to use are a 10mm for the top of the nut. And a 21 to hold the center. So let's get the wheels off, get the old struts off, and get these on. So, unlike my decent coilovers, the ones that are on there were missing this from the kit. Does it even come in the kit? Like, what the hell? So, there was no top, well, top mount that was top cover, whatever you want to call it, top out. Stopping the spring from articulating when the suspension's going, which is what this does, locks it in place. So it was leading to the suspension I've got in here, which is this, is actually really loose. It's been making some pretty, pretty, can you hear that look? Pretty dreadful noises. Absolutely shocking. Absolute crap. Let's try it out. Um, it just fell apart. The bearing is completely smashed through. Literally just fell to pieces as there's a bearing up on it. So there's a bearing over there. This one just fell apart. It's literally this. It's pressed in on top of here. And then held in by the rubber. Which is also being pretty fucking messed up as well. By the bearing. But that was on there like that. So that was what was happening. These springs were getting caught. It's not even giving the right stuff to do with bloody coilovers. So, yeah, not a good end to cheap coilovers, but back on to the decent ones. I have never sweated so much in my entire life. It is really humid at this time of year. Um, status update. <laughs> That's pretty damn tight. Really tight, actually. Probably should tighten it no more because it's looking pretty flexed. Um, and then the strut is just that too low. It's gonna do it. Well, I mean, you can do it by yourself with fair play, but I'm gonna need Ben to turn up to help me um, push this down and get these through the holes. Lovely. So. Mr. Arms has turned up for inspection. Oh god, right. Time to use forearms to uh, get this sorted out. So you just want to push him up a bit, really. Uh, yeah. Just a bit, mate, just a bit off. Because <laughs> he didn't pull him up through there no more. So, uh, there we go. Let's get it done. Here we are. So it's done. Bit of it, I bit Come on, you're done. Bit. Ben's swearing. Besides, I've done that. Fucking small VW shit. It's all an ox, I'll put my crack on, on YouTube. There's the other strut. There we go. She's a bit tight in the hole. You used to tighten it. Mmm. Mmm, not anymore. Mmm. Mm. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hammer that out, I think, because I don't think that's gonna come out. Well, Is this... it not? Let me go and get the hammer then, mate. It's literally gonna fall out now and it's fucking stuck. Don't get too angry on this one then, mate. 
All done. Hello guys, how is it going? So you're catching me on a Friday. Uh, I do apologise, it's been quite a quiet week. i um, not had too much going on. But coming in next week's video, we're going to have the Domino's experience. So I'm going to be doing that next week when I get the chance. So today we're going to be doing two things. I'm going to be showing you something quite special, which you can do all over the UK. But I'm, I've done tonight in Bristol. Um, I'm going to go into that in a little bit and explain what that is. And two, I'm going to go on the drive. And I think I'm going to be picking up one of our followers, Kai. Hopefully, might not be. Who's going to join me? Um, and he's going to give us a feedback and a verdict about a passenger ride experience in the Lupo. And I'm also going to discuss about these brand new, uh, well, completely full set now of KW suspension again. So I'm going to talk about that and the differences it's been from going from those max speeding rods, absolute pile of crap, front coilovers to these because it is insane. Um, also coming this weekend, we're down at Shogun Customs and we have got some things happening to the Lipo, small but mighty. There's also one I'm going to show you in a minute, if you can notice it. And then to finish off the week, we're down Cheddar for a small team gathering, so I'll just get some footage of the cars and any antics that might happen during that. So that is this week that you're going to see throughout this vlog. So one little subtle change we've had. Can you see it? Can you see it? We have got the private reg gone, and we're now back to the original reg on. 40 plates, which are also marked, as you can see, with the brand new 45E marker on them. Featuring my stupidly, annoyingly wonky exhaust tip, which will be getting changed at the end of the month for a new rear setup. So, as we know guys, life is full of good and bad. So I just thought I'd update you guys, you know, another week later into um, the only bad things that are necessarily going on in my life at the moment. So, um, in relation to the allegation of dangerous driving, I've still heard nothing. And I would imagine that's going to take quite a while until I do hear something. So that is all, that's really the update for that, the allegation of dangerous driving. Um, secondly, the lump on my chest that's been worrying me, um... I have finally got booked in. I'm going in next Tuesday to have a inspection done. And then once that's done with scans, um, we'll head back to here, whether it's something cancerous or something less serious, which is very nerve wracking, but I'd rather know than not know. <coughs> so look at the statistics and how things are. Um, I don't think it's gonna be an issue, but it's better to be safe than sorry with any sort of lumps on the body. So if you didn't know, when I bought the car, it had a set of KW coilovers, 950 quid at retail, a beautiful set of coilovers. Unfortunately, the passenger side strut was burst, uh, which over the about two or three weeks of driving the car collapsed. So obviously that was an issue. <clears throat> I then contacted KW and saw what it was going to cost me and it worked out cheaper to buy two new, ref uh, well not refurbished, but two brand new shocks and then use the existing springs <coughs> and mounting points. I haven't got Corona. <laughs> so use the existing mountain points that I had to build it back together. So you'll see in the video footage in a minute that I did build that back together and they're now on the car. So I had a set of, it was 150 quid it was for a set of max speeding rod coilovers, which were dreadful. They were so bad. They didn't fit properly as you'll see in the video. Um, they were making all sorts of noises. It was ridiculously uncomfortable and they were just shocking. I had a reduction in performance because the car wasn't gripping the road as much because it was just jumping up from the road. Doesn't help with the tyres, but that is another thing <coughs> that's due to be changed soon. So I've now got the KWs back, built and back on, and it's been about 24 hours and it has been insane. The transition is amazing so i'm just going to talk through the difference between cheap coilovers which i've explained in another video which i'll show you now and i'm going to run through of you in a moment while driving you know what the videos are like debatable um we're going to go out for a drive and i'm going to tell you the real road to road differences and why it's worth investing in a decent set of coilovers for your car here we are then guys so these are the differences between cheap coilovers and decent ones. Obviously the quality for starters, the build of the struts was so much better. And the springs didn't look like they were about to snap in half, like they did on the old one. So where do we begin? So 
for starters, the the cheap coilovers didn't come with the right fittings. So there was no top spring mount holder. So I was getting a lot of knocking and clicking when we were taking the steering wheel because the springs were getting caught on the strut. So I'm not getting that no more. Get an occasional twang, but they're very quiet, which is good. Secondly, performance. You get a hell of a lot more grip, a hell of a lot more grip in a straight line and in a corner with decent coilovers. Um, I found with the cheap ones, I was spending a lot of the time with my wheels off the ground, bouncing, which brings me on to the recoil rate. I've slowed everyone down here. It's just perfectly set up. You can tell that, like I said with the previous, KW spent time to get this shop working properly. It's got the perfect balance between comfort and performance. I would say the handling's better than the cheap strap. And it's a hell of a lot comfortable. Right now I'd be proper jumping and shaking around and it's very good for what the car is. So it is super comfortable and well balanced. So I would say the this suspension, at least the front anyway, has just by putting it back on, instead of cheap coilovers, has transformed the
So status update of the evening that's gone not so well. Um, we snapped the inner CV on the gearbox as you've seen. Um, we've walked about a mile and a half to go and get the jumpers which we've collected and walked back. So we've had a bit of exercise tonight. We're now ruining that by having chips on top of a replay. Um, but we're here outside this uh, takeaway. One of the car clubs combined guys to come along um, and I think the, end, the idea is to turn back to the farm and then I'm going to choose which one of the cars I want to take to temporarily ensure to get back and then hopefully get back down tomorrow and get the car sorted or hopefully at the end of the weekend or next week who really knows because it's running a SEAT gearbox but we've got to work out what drive shafts we're running so we'll find out as we go but we're here now in beautiful Radstock. He's there. Saving the chips. Mm. What we reckon? Huh? I reckon that's doable, mate. Yeah. Send it. Fucking get it on, son. Get the winch out as well. It's got the whole, all the gear, all the gear and plenty of idea here as well. Ah, uh, is he going to be our car club's combined uh, towing service now? Then are you? I guess. Wow. I reckon. <laughs> Leave my coat here. Pepsi, in fact. Huh? Ice cream van as well. Oh, what do you want me to do then, mate? I steer you. You only think we got to be careful. We're pull the fucking pull the um, tow and eye off. Huh? Yeah. It's pretty set the whole bump bump with it. I expect. Here we go then. So a big thank you to Ben. Still got a long drive home though, but uh, it's gonna be exciting. sorted for now kind of thanks mate <laughs> here we are in the garage there's one beautiful dog Ooh. there's another one over there playing ball okay. yep back with ball again Looks like a long drive home, mate. Yeah, mate. So let's have a look at our choice of, car, choice of car. <laughs> <laughs> We're going for with the choice the of the choice of the gay lander <laughs> that's front wheel drive. Yeah. Or with the choice of the Peugeot. Ooh. What do we choose? I'm gonna go for the 1.4 automatic <laughs> Peugeot. <laughs> look at this fuck, look at this fucking beast. Look at this, I'll put a torch on. <laughs> look at this fucking beast. Whoa. Even clean as well. Yeah, nice. He's even cleaned it for us. There we go. Big, yeah. thank, big thank you to Ben for yeah. that one. Yeah. 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 Nice. Sorted. So make sure you get their, uh, we've got the CCC UK jumpers in. Looking fresh. There we go, I'm going to go 
Go on. Do that, man. Oh, come on. Look at you, you pikey fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, what the <laughs> fuck? You literally drove the whole. Mate, here we are. A MX5. Go, go, get over that fucking fence. Oh. Down with it, Mate, what the fuck? I said she sat in your car. Yeah. Are you fucking drove here, you We're fake cunt. Yeah. Have you got a torch? Though? It's been it's Ben stolen, isn't it? No, <laughs> remember that one I sold you? Phoebe wrote back the street. Oh my god, no. No, I bought it in Bridgewater. Mate, it went to Bridgewater. Mate, you're a fucking. Yeah. No way. <laughs> the guy yeah. I bought it off said he raced it. <laughs> yeah, it was Bridgewater. Yeah, 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 Bridgewater. Yeah,